Hello, my name is Sergi Foch and I'm going to present my work on towards plan monitoring through Nexus View. This work has been carried out in collaboration with Dr. Guillermo Leña and Professor Karma Torres at the Institute de Robotica e Informatica Industrial in Barcelona. This work has been developed under the context of the Garnix European project. Garnix's goal is the study of tobacco plants phenotype. Phenotype is defined as the expression of a genotype plus the influence of environmental factors. Currently, plant phenotype is studied on highly automated greenhouses where plants go from one room to another in order to be measured by different static procedures. This type of scenario has some constraints that would be like to be overcome, such as the fact that it is only valid when plants are in their first stages of growth, or for instance, that plant has to, plants has to be kept in a specific post for a correct analysis. So Garnick's project tries to develop more versatile tools for improving plants monitoring over large plantations. This is achieved by placing the sensors on a robotic arm as it is shown in the pictures. The aim of this preliminary work is to improve the perception of plant leaves by changing the sensor's point of view. By doing that, possible misinterpretations on image segmentation can be overcome as it can be seen in the figures on the right side. Our setup consists of seven degrees of freedom manipulator and a time-of-flight camera attached to its end effector. Experiments are carried out with a PMD CamCube 3 time-of-flight camera as a perception sensor. Such camera has the special feature of providing registered and de depth and intensity images at a high frame rate. Although its main drawback is its low resolution, 200 by 200, it doesn't affect too much to our application since we work at a close range of 30 centimeters from the scene. Here you can see a typical intensity and depth image provided by this type of sensor. Segmentation in this work is based on the article of Dalian et al. presented at the workshop and on applications of computer vision in 2011. Here, we use the combination of intensity and depth images for leaf identification. But due to their cluttered structure, plants are a complex scene to segment. Different scenes require different parameterizations, and it is not difficult to fall into under or over segmentation, as it can be seen in the current slide. In order to minimize the segmentation problem and better identify the different leaves of a plant, our approach takes into account the appearance of what it is called the jump edge flying points. Jump, jump edge flying points, a characteristic trait of time of flight cameras, are usually on the side points and therefore are filtered out. There are a smooth curtain of flying points around the edges between fore and background objects. See the image on the left side as an example. On the right side, you can see a cluttered scene before and after filtering. Pay attention to the fact that identifying such points can give us information about the possible contour of the leaves. To find out more about the appearance of jump edge flying points, you can have a look to the article of Fochetal, Locking Time of Flight Cameras, a survey, published at the Sensor Journal. Our approach has three steps. First, segmentation and plane fitting. Then, if a set of jump edge points are detected between two possible adjacent leaves or inside a single one, it is a sign of a leaf misinterpretation. Image on the right side. The center of the jump edge of, the, of those jump edge points is computed to allocate a new center of the camera rotation for the next best view. Then the camera rotation axis is computed by means of the cross product between the surface normal vector of the foreground leaves and the jump edge vector between the centroid and the current camera position. Finally, the camera is rotated plus or minus 45 degrees over the rotation axis depending on whether the jump edge points are located on the left 
or to the right side of the camera point of view. Now I will present some qualitative experimental results. The first row of this slide shows the view where an occlusion was detected. The second rows show the view after the NextBest view algorithm was executed. It can be seen how after applying the camera's NextBest view, the area of the occluded leaf is better estimated. Here, the leaves have not been correctly cemented and two leaves have been considered as one. It can be seen how after applying camera's next view, the misinterpretation disappears and both leaves are correctly detected. So, to conclude, a new approach of next view has been proposed for improving plan monitoring when leaf misinterpretations arise. This approach takes advantage of erroneous data the jump edge flying points, to compute the next best view. Also, a heuristic-based 45 degrees angle does not assure a complete success. As a future work, it will be interesting to not predefine the next best view rotation angle and find a more reliable automatic measure. Also, it will be of interest to be able to manipulate this scene with a robot to help monitoring tasks. Thanks for your attention.